this is your chance to say to the world, were you lying to Terry about your sexuality all those six years? No, I wasn't lying about my sexuality. You were not lying? No, I wasn't. So when you married her, you had no inclination whatsoever that you were gay? Right. How does that happen? Um, I well, married... Seriously, because I've done so many shows. I know so many gay people, people who've known since they were four, since they were three, since they were born, since they were seven. Right. And now, <laughs> and, and, now and you're saying that you were, got all the way to 20 and never thought about it? I am. What? OK. Stop it. Uh. <laughs> Okay, the thing, okay. I'm from a culture where it's very conservative. Yeah. And we never thought about being gay. It's not a good thing in, in my culture. Just because of just the way of life, people look down on it and nobody wants to be gay. And when I met Terry, I was a heterosexual. And I loved her for who she was and I didn't love her for what she had. And I didn't know who she was at the time. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that we liked about each other. But this is the thing. I understand that culture. Right. But just because it's hard to come out doesn't mean that you've never thought that you might be. You might think that you are and feel that you have to conceal it, think that you are and think that you have to grow up and marry, think that you are and think you have to, you know, pretend right. or carry on this facade. Right. But it just, I, I just really find that hard to believe that you get to be 20 and you never even think that you are. I may have thought about it, but I didn't act on it. I, it was not the, the right thing to do at okay. the time. But she didn't and ask you if you acted on I it. I know, but okay. the thing is this, That's is okay. that I was, I, my You had never life, had a, I, I, you had I, never I had identified. a homosexual encounter? No. You had never? No. Okay. And so, okay, it's very personal, but you had not had a homosexual encounter until after you got married. Right. And so what happened when you were married? Because now you're, you're, you're living everything that you say the culture, your culture in particular, expected you to do with Terry. So now you're living it. So when did you start having these feelings that you might not be heterosexual? After the last two years of the marriage, basically. Yeah. I started having conflicting feelings, and she sometimes would, you know, bring to my attention that guys were looking at me, and that guys were looking, looking at, at me, you? right? Mm -hmm. You know, especially women gay too, guys yeah. and women too. But it was just, you know, she would emphasize that, oh, those guys are looking at me, and Boy, she, like, I liked it, and you she liked it. and she liked but it too. You didn't tell me you liked it, but I kept it to myself. Yeah, and it's not, and, so, it's, it, and it's not something that you would tell your wife. Yeah. You know? Kinda not. Exactly, yeah. it's not. I mean, who wants to tell their wife that they're gay? Yeah. Basically. Okay, how long had you known before you actually told her? Two years. Two years. And had you acted on it? I didn't do anything to jeopardize my health nor Terry's health. Answer the question. John. I'm answering the question. Well, you're very good. He didn't answer the question. No, didn't he didn't answer, answer the question. The question. No, I, I know, the question wasn't whether or not you used a condom. That wasn't the question. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Jonathan. It's okay. <laughs> the question... Plus, I already know the answer. The question was, did you engage in relations with men, sexual relations, condom or not, with men during the marriage? That's the question. I did. I, I had to find out my curiosity. Say yes. I had to find my curiosity. Yeah, you did. You yes. did. You did. Thank you. Okay.